Hey YouTube, it's Glenn here from BJ's Buddha Wars again. And today we're looking at kit bashing into tiny little greeblies all of these 30 year old model kits. So I picked these up, uh, all of them, for about 25 bucks. Because um, coming up, I'll have the actual case unboxing in a couple of days from now um, of a cooler master, yeah. a little micro AT, um, IT, actually, little ITX case. Um, so when we get that, and then what we're going to do is scratch build out of this, uh, some other styrene tubing and bits and pieces, and hopefully some um, computer parts and all kinds of things. We're going to scratch build um, the Cap Cooler Master ITX case into a Borg cube. So we've got these to just break up. Um, and get a whole bunch of greeblies and bits and pieces and detailing um, to do inside the ball cube edging on the on the computer ITX case. So that's what we're going to do quickly now is just go over these. These are uh, all Revel um, kits uh, from 1988 and 1990. Uh, so 88. 90 uh, 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 90 um, at one stage, at some variety store, this was a dollar forty-nine. Um, the guy must have also just had them somewhere available for five dollars each. Um, but yeah, I've had yeah twenty-five dollars for the lot. So yeah, these have all survived for thirty years, and are now going to get torn apart. To do something completely different to what they were intended to ever be and become computer case modded accessories. So let's have a look at some of these. We'll have a look at the 88. First, so we've got a MIG 27, Flogger, uh, F14 Tomcat, and an F4E USAF fighter. Are you at F? For the USAF fighter. So, most of these we're just looking for detail. These panel parts might get cut up or get used as like corners, um, anything to do the layering for the ball cube, which is all sort of deep lines. Um, we also have glow in the dark tubing that will be able to put along and around and you can put wire through and like mould it into shapes to be like conduits and things and this will glow. Um, in the back, but we're going to just start pulling these apart. It feels a little bit wrong to break open 30 year old things but they're only worth a couple of bucks so here we go. Let's have a look, see how they work. All the instructions are in under here. So, a MiG-27. Instructions that we have absolutely no use for. Are there. But there's some cool pieces in here. Um, and being a rebel kit, they're all very well detailed, so it looks like a little cockpit piece. So, I mean, for the um, 
scratch building. We're going to be using a lot of all the, the sprues and all the bits. So I'm just going to leave that as is because I have no idea exactly how we're going to keep like use each piece yet. But that's what we're just having a look at. We've got some cool corner pieces. We'll be able to use these for corners. panels. Um, the cool thing about the plane kits and the Borg cube, probably what they used in the actual making of the models is already all the line detail. It already has a lot of the cube stuff um, going on in it. Also got lots of little missiles. Uh, they can be all kinds of little conduits and tubes and stuff even if they're not missiles. Little tiny little support structures here. Burners, things like that are really cool. Some cool detail for us to use whilst we're constructing the other one. That can be okay. We'll have a look at this one. I got the F14. This one unfortunately has one big body piece that may be kind of annoying, but we might be able to cut it up <coughs> and have a look at it. or it might just go under one of the underlayers. It is a very cool piece. Looks like two vents there for that one. And that one, I think I might be just taking those off or something and make like an armor plate out of that section. Um, but we can probably use those, fit again with those, might match them up a bit, make corners. Uh, and those pieces are great though, they're nice detailed piece there. Same with the cockpit or the side vents for those bits. More cool little exhaust ports, more missiles, and some more little tiny, just these little detailed greeblies. Really, a lot of what we wanted just little tiny styrene bits to just to add on everywhere. And the F4E. So, yeah, all the 88 ones are all. Twenty-two pieces. That one doesn't have like a numbered list. And like twenty-six pieces. The decals. There's also some decals. We won't. I don't think we'll be using them. Maybe some stars somewhere. But I doubt we'll use them anyway. We'll be painting a lot of it. Um, also, hoping to get some um, old laptop motherboards to strip all the like sockets and things off, but use the backing, the main board um, of some old laptops for the base of the level to go onto the actual case. Um, so it should give the green a lot of the actual detail pretty similar between a board cube and a motherboard, funnily enough, and um, so hopefully I get them for about $20 as well, uh, four of them for the four sides, um, to get the, what was it, F4E, got some cool burners there, those are great, I don't really have anything to make, like, um, molds off and like recast anything but just lots of little burners and round panels and things. Um, I do have 15 meters I think of just different thicknesses of styrene tube um, to be able to bend, melt, cut and make the framework um, similar to sprues. We'll be making basically layers of sprue 
kind of around it to give the probably about that thick I think about three layers off the panel to give it the dimension of the, the Borg cube so probably the motherboard um, and then two layers like the laptop motherboard and then like two layers of a mix of these and um, styrene rods and I've got other sprues from other kits um, as well as I mean basically anything we can sell it salvage from around the place we might put some brackets bits and pieces that we have from old cases yeah, so it's going to be a bit of yeah, a complete kit bash, built from scratch. Might go up to a like, um, uh, charity store and see if I can't find a couple of old electronics with some interesting like PCBs or bits and pieces to add on as well. But that's those three kits. <coughs> so there's a lot of cool detail and some panelling in there. Let's have a look at the other three. See if there's any difference between 88 and, 19, and 1990. Overall, same sort of instructions. Roughly the same amount of pieces. 30. Is it there? F-106 Delta Dart. Mm, this is one of them. I think these ones... I really like these wings, these pieces here. I reckon they'll make great arm um, pieces. Um, same as those, I think we'll take the fins off them and get rid of the plain look, but that's a nice like chunk of around it. There's that square edge you might be able to make like a windowy accent area with some of these like put, put those across there and that becomes something. Lots of little tiny little wheel pieces there that's cool. Those thrusters aren't bad but not as cool as the other one. Lots of decals with that one. Yeah, we won't use. Let's see, got some MiG-29 Fulcrum. This one also had a lot of the tail pieces I really like. These panels here, they look really cool. They're a nice shape, interesting. Kind of square, kind of not. Um, um, another couple of nice thrusters there.
make that like an awesome like little light transition area and end up being awesome. So there's some really interesting little pieces in here to put together. So there's roughly about 25 pieces in each of these, so we're starting to get a good number. We're going to have four sides, top, two sides of the case and the front. There's going to be some challenges at the front, keeping it so there's airflow, so it may just be more of just kind of the um, styrene, making a bit of a cage that goes over it. Um, and but we'll see. Um, I want to try and make it as best as possible so that the two side panels and the top panel, because it's a little cube case, they all come off, I believe, um, are all removable and just kind of line up along the edges um, and keep airflow available because it is a little ITX case, but it can take a full bun system. In it. it can hold a full-size graphics card, it can hold a full-size processor or a small water cooler. Um, ITX um, motherboard and I believe it takes a standard ATX um, power supply, not the um, SFX. So um, I think that's why I chose that case specifically is because it still takes a regular power supply. But if not, there's some really cool SFX power supplies out now. So the MiG-31. Uh, they're all open. 30 years of sitting around doing nothing. And now they're all open and a big pile. So excellent pieces of fuselage is gonna be great. So those this will go somewhere. I think yet again if we can bend that and make it a corner armor piece somewhere and take the plain shape out of it. Or just, yeah. Cool little flat panels there, yet again. The, the, a lot of it, I really like the tail pieces and like the back bit, so it gives us a lot of these. Almost squared off kind of panels to do like corner armor and just like joins behind them. So I can run multiple pieces. Uh, that's going to the back there, that one. Got more details. So to the back here and like glue them, fix them into there, like running in different directions. So that they become a nice stable point to build the framework off. <coughs> Same with a lot of that. So that's what I was hoping with pretty much a lot of those pieces is they become just stabilizing areas where I can build from inside sort of the lattice. So that's all the parts. We're just gonna mix them all up. But so we're gonna have four sides. So I give this roughly three of these per side. So the ITX case Somewhere in sort of those dimensions, I think. Um, maybe a little bit bigger, maybe there on the side. So you can sort of see that's not going to give us total coverage of anything, but it just gives us like a layer, all kinds of bits and pieces to work with. Um, and how they can just end up being. So yeah, lots of kit bashing ahead for that. I was going to start breaking these down 
Now I'm just sort of like making a little like thruster pile. I love these, these are the double thrusters. That's going to be a cool exhaust fan. Um, but I think I'll leave it because I kind of like looking at the chunks at the moment. But that was that. That's a quick tear down of some 30 year old Revel model kit. I kind of feel bad about doing that too. Because they're kind of cool just as items. And I could have put them on my collector's shelf just as items. Or I could have built the planes. Still might build one, but I doubt it. But there we go. 1988, 1990, Rebel model kits, and they're great. Rebel, lots of details, lots of cool bits for us to use, and yeah. We'll have the case in two days to start sort of plotting it out and having a bit of an idea about how we're going to configure it all, and this should be interesting. And this case is going to be available for sale at the end, that's the main thing. Um, so, if anyone is interested in a Borg Cube inspired ITX case, with or without it, but the case will be available for sale on its own. And if you'd like it, of course, filled with the system, we can discuss that and spec that out. But there we go, there's some first bits of Greeblies for our. Okay.